Hi guys. We uh if you saw our last video, we did a uh we took down two beech trees on the lawn and um I had a little trouble with the chainsaw as usual. It sat all winter. We get it out in the spring and it doesn't want to start. And we ended up taking the carb apart and we were able to make a slice in the bolts so that we could put a screwdriver and we richened up the carburetor. Now it stays running and we could get it to rev up. But what we got, you see me playing with some chains here, is um, I don't think I touched the ground, but the chain is a little bit worn. It's not as sharp. And the raker is pretty high. I like the raker down a little lower so that uh, when it bites, it'll chew out big chunks of wood instead of sawdust. I like big shavings. And uh, my son's got a little ryobi pruning saw it's an eight inch and his come well right there you can see it looked like he hit a little stone on that one um he might have hit the ground because he was cutting up some tops for me and he's impatient like i am we want to get it done and uh he's pushing pretty hard but you see that raker's up pretty high too when the raker's high obviously this is going to hit first and slow you down i like it to uh dig so i'm going to sharpen these and and i got this cheap chicago you know harbor freight thing and they work pretty good if they only need dressing up which these chains really do they only need dressing because see that cutting tooth is pretty sharp still but like i said you see how high that raker is the proper way to do that is to put it inside your bar and then there's a little gauge you can check your height but I do it by eye usually, and to me that's really high. It's within like a half a millimeter, and it's it's too much. It's going to cut super slow, and um, but I want to cheat a little bit and see if we can use this um, this cheap saw here. The other one is I have a um, 12 inch Ryobi chainsaw that works pretty good, and for Mother's Day I went over to my mom's and. We all cut her brush, some shrubs, some trees. My brother used this to cut down some pine branches. Something wrong. It doesn't look too bad, but I think I'm going to dress it up. It doesn't even feel sharp. So we got an 8, a 12, and an 18. And uh, we're going to start off with a 12, so I had that in there. And this little saw, let's get it the right way here. This little saw... You set it in here. You bring this little stopper down behind your tooth. I don't know if you can see it well. Let this rest flat. Bring this down. It's a lot like a chop saw. See, that's that's way too much. Let me see if I got this in backwards. I'm, there we go. See that, how it comes in right here? You don't want to take much off. You want this cutting wheel to come down and just touch the chain so that one's adjusted pretty good let me come over to the next skip a tooth bring it back lock that bring this down boy that's pretty close right now so i think what i'm going to do is uh i'm going to fire this thing up like terrell says fire it up fire it up and i'm gonna um see if you can watch this see how well this works you only want to touch it just a little and just hold your chain back tight here See that? And if you can focus on that, I got it set at 25 degree, and you just want to clean that up. Can you see that? Did it hit it enough? Or do I need to go deeper? Let me see here. Sometimes I want to put a flashlight on it to get it super bright there. I think that's pretty good. So I'm going to skip a tooth, come to the next one, bring this in. Uh, we're not taking much, so here you can um, you uh, tighten this up just a little bit, and that'll come in. There we go. Now we're making it some progress. That should make it pretty sharp. And then you just skip every other tooth, and then you reverse your angle and do the other side. And I don't know if you can see that well. 
it's getting towards the evening here after seven and we're outside but I just want to make sure we're hitting them good I don't want to take much meat off just to dress them and if I'm not happy I'll finish it up with a file And by using this and doing it real fast like that, you're not taking the temper out of the tooth. You don't really get it hot enough to do that. So I'm going to run these all through, get them all even. And then I'll check them to see if I like it. See, we only have to go in just a little bit, but what I like about the machine, I know it's a lazy way of doing it, and this is a cheap one, but what it does is it gets every tooth the same, so this is more accurate than an inexperienced chainsaw file guy. An experienced file guy will control his cut and also um, he'll count how many strokes say he does 10 on every tooth so everyone should stay even but the reason I like this is if you hit a stone um, hit the ground get some dirt in it, it it dresses it up very fast so um, and the other reason I wanted to do this tonight is we couldn't find another file I had a uh, 5 30 seconds file in the tool in the uh, box there that was broken so I threw the saw on it or something. if you want to come in and look horizontal right here this is your cutting tooth obviously and this is a raker that cleans the chips out and the height of it here I like this down just a little bit more and it's going to tend to be more aggressive and bite it's an, this is an anti-kickback chain and you know a lot of sawyers, they'll tend to use a saw that's aggressive. And uh, I'm not a sawyer by far, but I'm impatient. I don't have a lot of time to go back there and monkey with uh, firewood for hours on end. I just want to get it done. And we, my son and I, cut up to 16-inch lengths two trees tonight. So we got a couple hours in it, and I think that's really good. He used that little 8-inch pruning to do the tops while I was cutting the base, and, uh, you know, it worked out pretty good. All right, so I think when the sparks stop here, I went all the way around again and get them all even. And uh, so you're not taking much off. make sure you're setting down in there all the way sometimes these things like to bind and then I think we're all the way around aren't we let's see here maybe not thought we were just to dress them up and then I'm going to show you again and we'll Cut this thing off, but look at this here. If we uh, zoom in real close on it, um, see, we want to take a little out of here, a little off the side. You don't want to take much because you want to keep your tooth really sharp. And see that? I didn't take much off. I probably could have taken a little more, but see, we got a fresh cutting edge, both sides and top. So I'm pretty happy with that. I turned uh, this back to 25 degrees the opposite way, and I'm just dry fit. If you can listen to that, hear this? So that's just touching. And before I turn it on to cut one, same thing as we cut, we're cutting the opposite side now. I want to make sure it fits with friction. So what that does, it just dresses it up. I'd say we're just about there. So let me fire this. Fire it up! And then... That sounds good. We're not taking too much. See that? You could get a better view on this side of how far to 
go down. I want to go down and touch the bottom here. That works good. And uh, these things, I don't remember what I paid for this. I know this was a garage sale fine for like 20 bucks. I think they're like under 50 bucks at Harbor Freight, but I don't remember. And a file, that'll cost you, you know, six bucks for a good one. And then you buy a handle and then you lose it or break it. These things I like because they're quicker, I think. And then you get to take your chain out and inspect it really well. But if you're out in the woods, keep your file on hand. And then I want to show you a final here when I get all the way around and see if we're happy with this. And then to file the raker down, you could probably do it on this, but I'll just use my grinder and I just touch it. You get a couple sparks, take off a half a millimeter, and that'll be just enough to get that raker down. But I just used this chain, and I was throwing some big chips for a while, so I don't think I'm going to mess with the rakers. Oop, not going to do that one. I'm not going to mess with the rakers this time. This chain don't have too many hours on it. And then, uh, if you like this kind of content, please subscribe to our channel. My son and I are trying to grow our channels, and, uh, you know, the little guy. We're trying to bring things in that people might be interested in. And just about everything we do is on a lower budget. We don't have high-end equipment. But we, uh, we try to teach. We always learn. And then we try to learn by our mistakes. And uh, we hope we're helping you out. And it would help us out if you'd subscribe and give us a like. Or give us a comment if we're doing something terrible. Um, all right, let's take a look at both sides now. Now this one is the side we just did. So we're going to turn it this way. we get a view. Look how shiny that is. That's beautiful right there. Let's go around to the next one. Right here. Oh, look how nice and clean that is. Um, can you get a good view of that? That's 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 pretty sharp. That's pretty sharp. And uh, so I'm pretty happy with this. And that's just a quick idea how you can sharpen a chainsaw with a cheap electric sharpener. And uh, um, follow along. We're going to continue on our journey of our firewood. We're going to be splitting and we're going to be doing... Uh, We've got a three-point chipper. We're going to throw our brush through it. And um, I'm not sure if we're going to pull the stumps out. We haven't decided yet. So we'll see you on the next one.